In this video, we will discuss about TLock extension. Smaller branches in general have only one device in the branch and have multiple transport links connected to it. But there are cases where you might need to have dual routers in the branch for redundancy and would like to terminate one transport link on each router like shown in this figure. In this case, we provide the redundancy by configuring a feature called TLock extension. So in the diagram, BR31 has a single connection to internet transport while BR32 has a connection only to MPLS transport. Both these routers are interconnected to each other. We will now use this link to create an extension for the second transport from each of the VHS. We will create a sub-interface 101 on both the VHS and extend the internet connection from VH31 to VH32. Similarly, we will create another sub-interface 102 and extend the MPLS connection from VH32 to VH31. Let's check the existing BFT connections from the VHS. So let's go to network. Let's go to BR31. Let's go to real time and check our BFT connections. So as you can see, the BR31 has only uh, BFT connections on business internet links. So let's quickly check our simulation as well to see how the traffic flows. So we just add those interfaces and let me add a destination of some other site. And if you do a simulation and you can see that the traffic are always flows to only the business internet link. Similarly, let's check on BR32. Let's go to real time. Let's see our BFD connect sessions and this should show only the connections, BFD sessions on the NPS link. Let's check the traffic simulation as well. Our destination and simulate and you can see that the traffic only flows to the MPLS link. Let's configure our TLock extension. I'm going to use CLI for configuring the BR31 VH and I'll use templates to configure the BR VH32. So let's go to our BR31 router. Let's go to our VPN 0 and use our interface 0 slash 1 in our case. Let's unshut the main interface. Let's create our first sub interface dot 101. Let's quickly give an IP address slash 30. I'm going to change the MQ to 1496 to accommodate for the dot 1Q tags. Let's do an OSHA down and then use the TLock extension command to extend the geo slash 0 to VH2. Let's similarly create another sub interface 1.102. Add an IP address, change the MTU to 496, do an OSHA down, and this will be our tunnel interface because it will create a BFD session across through the BR32 VH. So let's do an encapsulation IPsec, let's do color MPLS, and I'm going to restrict the connections to only MPLS links. And I'm going to do a no control connections because I don't have a control connection from the MPLS cloud. Let's commit or, or let's add a default route as well. Pointing to the interface on the VH2. Let's commit the changes. Let's do a quick show of the configurations. And you can see that there is a main interface and then there's the first sub interface which is the TLock extension and then the second interface which is configured for the MPLS link. So let's go to BR32. As I said, we'll be using templates to configure those. So let's go to templates. So I have a BR32 VH template already assigned to that uh, specific node. So I'm going to edit the template and in the template I'm going to add my transport VPN. So I'm going to go ahead and add our uh, VPN interface. Let's add our VPN interface. And I'm going to choose a template which I've already created. So that's the VH0 slash 1 TLock template. This is the main interface. So let's quickly view the template. 
in this template it's for 0 slash 1 main interface it's basically done a no shutdown the interface name is 0 slash 1 and that's it nothing else so go back to our interface and then I'm going to add another VPN interface it would be our dot 101 interface so I'm going to use a template which I've already created let's quickly view the template So this is my dot 101 sub interface template it's no shutdown there's an interface name there's an ip address which will be asked to input when we apply this template and then here in the tunnel interface which is on and this will be a color of business internet here and the restriction is on there is a control connection across because we have a control connection from this vh so let's go to advanced. I've just changed the MTU as well again to 1496. Uh, let's go back to our manage VPN and then add another VPN interface, which will be our dot 102 sub interface. So I'm going to use a template again, which I've already created. Let's quickly view the template. And this is dot 102 template uh, basically no shutdown and that's the interface that's the IP address which will be required to be inputted and then here uh, we go to advanced I have an M2 configuration and as well as a steel lock extension which is extending the G0 slash 0 across to VH2 so VH1 sorry that's it I'm gonna just hit update so it's gonna push an updated configuration template to the device so let's edit the template and I need to input uh, the IP addresses for both the sub interfaces that I've created. So 168.20.2 slash 30 and 192.168.20.6 slash 30. Let's hit update. Hit next. Let's configure devices and just wait for the new template to get pushed. The template has been successfully pushed now. So let's quickly check running configurations on VR32 you can see that's the main interface and that's the first sub interface which is configured for internet and the second sub interface which is extending the MPLS link from this VH to VH VR31 I think I missed uh, configuring a default route so let's go back to our templates and go back to a feature template which was our main TLOC VH template uh, let's go ahead and edit that and add our default route to it so let's edit. So I'm going to do add IP4 route. Click next hop. This is having only one next hop, so I'm just going to add one more. I'll make it device specific. I'll just change the namings to G0 slash 1 next hop. It doesn't allow me to click zero slash one hyphen next stop. So this I need to input when I update the template. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit update. So let's, let's go ahead and edit the template, and we need to add our default route next stop. So one ninety two one sixty eight. It should be 20.2. Let's hit update. Let's configure devices. That's it. Successfully done. So let's go back and check our BFT sessions. So let's go to network. Go to BR31. Go to real time and check the BFT sessions now. And now you can see that they have uh, BFD sessions for both the MPLS as well as the internet link. Uh, let's quickly check our simulation flows as well. So let's quickly put a destination. And now you can see that the traffic is load balanced across both the links. Let's quickly check that on BR32 as well. So let's go to real time and check our BSD sessions. 
earlier it has on it had only <coughs> sessions on mpls now it should have bfd sessions for both mpls as well as internet links go let's quickly check our flow simulation as well let's put our destination ip and hit flows and there you go uh, we have traffic flows that are load balanced between both the links so thus using tlock extension we can successfully provide redundancy and alleviate link failures from vhs with single transport connections that's it for the demo thanks for watching